I am just checking out some of Jeff's wedding pictures. Because, today, folks, I will be talking to you about the morning suit. And as our dear boy Jeffrey wore one, or reminiscent of one in his wedding, so proud of our boy, I dare say, that is a rare occurrence in Philippine weddings. Except for Georgina Wilson's groom, and only because he is British. Yes guys it was a morning suit and not a coattail. So let's begin with that. What differentiates the morning suit with a tailcoat? Well basically the morning coat doesn't have a vent like the coat tail. And 2018 is bringing back morning tail. I am loving the different styles. And as you know the men's formals rarely evolves. But you see what they did is mix and matched colors. Fa fabrics. Fabric patterns. Quite ingenious. Although it still has the same cut and ultimately same lapel. Well it's basically still the same as the time it was designed by the British in the Edwardian era. And I know you guys are already rolling your eyes on the thought of wearing one. Ironically morning suits are called the morning dress. But hang on hang on. Before judging the morning dress, listen up first especially to our soon to be wet subscribers or watchers. The morning suit or dress or coat is a gentleman's traditional garment for weddings formal memorial services, some official functions, and formal daytime events. It is the most appropriate formal wear for a groom. And not the regular suit or tux. Again let me reiterate that, this is the most appropriate groom's outfit. Not a suit or a tux. It was designed for 19th century gentlemen who rode horses in the morning with a cutaway front. It evolved from the casual frock to formal wear. So you see? British formal wear also leaves room for improvements. Although it hasn't for a long time since there was no need for it. And I know you guys are shaking your head in disagreement. So we suggest to skip the ascot tie for now, because you might just about turn around and show your tails. Sorry just had crack this up with a joke. But on a serious note, that's why we are here educating you guys about these things, so that maybe someday, maybe. Filipinos might take to some of the proprieties of dressing formally. And before casual Fridays really takes over the world. Although I for one am a barong guy. I love our pina fabrics. And with that we move on to the do's and don'ts of the morning coat. Just a reminder. These are the traditional rules and just like with the talks, carefully bend it. Carefully. Because tradition is tradition and evolution well. Okay let's begin, ready your pen and notepad because, these can be really confusing. Comment below if you do get confused. Traditionally morning coat, trousers and waistcoats are uniformly paired. But as you see these days they are already bending that in 2018. It should always be a perfect fit. And that's where Jackson's Tailors comes in to be of service to you. Where today what is? But you see 8 years ago, Jeffrey wore it to his evening wedding in San Agustin Church. And the world did not crack. Just like we can skip the ascot tie and about on the air, or pocket square. But again, these are traditions we still do need to respect. Because, it is tradition. And we move on to shoes. Black Oxfords are a Chelsea boot with really high socks. No need to embarrass yourself more. Just wear a high one in case you end up showing your calves. Which we seem to see a lot due to the trendy slim pants. And now, for your shirt. A crisp white shirt with either a turn down collar or what we see in date folks. The white detachable, fastened by collar studs or attached with a tie, giving the shirt double cuffs. Or go for a high detachable wing collar paired with a single cuffed shirt. This is traditionally accessorized with a formal ascot as opposed to a day cravat. Which is entirely different. We will tackle that in my later videos. Again easily skip the ascot if it is too much for you. 
and you may also skip this, but then maybe we can one day find alternatives for oldie moldy. Again traditionally morning tails should have the following accessories. A top hat, gloves, a cane or umbrella, and once more a pocket watch which ironically was evolved by hip hop into just plain chain. And last but never the least, about an ear. Now we move on to the don'ts. No non-matching morning coat. No patent leather shoes. Fancy waistcoats, especially backless. But again since it's evolution from the casual frock to a morning dress, well the morning suit is already changing once more. Still it would be nice to just go on with tradition. Don't you think? Well that's it for now kids and dudes. And for our future menswear designers, this is the challenge for us. How to evolve the barong into a morning suit. Since we now know it came from a casual frock. I will see you in our next video about coattails. Visit our website www.jacksonstailors.com for more about our tailoring journals. Like us on Facebook. Subscribe below and hit that bell so you will know if our new video is out. Salamat and Palam.